What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our SEC football channel. One of the more difficult schedules in college football. That's what Texas A&M has. They do open the season up with Texas State. We do not simulate that game, but we can assume that Texas A&M will win that game. It would be obviously a major upset if they were to lose that game. Uh, so then they play the big game against Clemson. We actually did this video, this full game, live on the channel if you want to go watch it. Uh, we posted that a few weeks ago, but uh, Clemson up 14 to seven, and they get a big play here. Defender gamble for the football missed, and Clemson uh, going to take this all the way for the touchdown. They would go up 21 to seven at that point. Now uh, late in the first half, Trevor Lawrence going to keep it on the ground, and he would run it into the end zone for the touchdown. Clemson up big, and they would take care of business. 42 to 17, the final score here. So Texas A&M loses this game against Clemson. After that, they would face Lamar. We're going to assume that they win that game. Uh, so they are two, They would be 2-1 and one as they head into SEC play. And their first game is going to be against Auburn. Tatum at home here, up down 7-10. to Auburn with the football. Joey Gatewood going to run one in here right before halftime to put the Tigers up by 10. Third quarter now, Mond. Looking to throw, going to take a shot to the end zone. Wide open receiver Kendrick Rogers makes the catch, and the Aggies are back within three. Fourth quarter now, third down and ten, big play in this game. Mond looking to pick up the first down. Can't do it. It is knocked away. So now Auburn will get the football back, and they're just trying to run some clock, and they wind up taking this thing all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Second down and nine here. Clock is under two minutes, and they pick up a huge first down. A&M would then be out of timeouts. Third down and four. Game's really over here. It should be. You take a knee, but Auburn just elects to throw the football, and that stops the clock. And, again, this is a video game, so you're going to have some uh, some questionable things happen sometimes. Uh, but A&M does not do anything once they get the football, and Auburn does survive 20-14. to 14. So that uh, will be a really tough loss there for the Aggies as they fall 20-14. to 14. They're now 2-2 two and two on the season. And they get ready for a big matchup with Arkansas. Arkansas going to be next on the schedule. Uh, so we'll go to that one now. As you see some of the highlights from this game. A&M up 10-0 here in the first quarter. Arkansas has it. Ben Hicks throws it and throws an interception. Texas A&M coming up with a big turnover here. Uh, everything going their way early in the ball game. Mond going to the end zone. That's a touchdown. And now A&M up 17-0. Here halfway through the second quarter, Ketlin Mon runs it in for the touchdown, and it is all Aggies at this point. Now 24-6, Arkansas trying to come back or at least just stay in the ball game. They get a touchdown pass here, and they're not too far down now, but the Aggies would answer back with their own touchdown, and uh, that's going to make it 31-13. 38-21 at this point. Arkansas looking for another touchdown and they would pick it up. So all of a sudden this game is a little bit interesting. It's a 10 point game under two minutes to play. Uh, Arkansas can get the ball back and they do. A&M can't convert there. Now Arkansas, it takes a little time but they do get down to the end zone for the touchdown and they're within three. There's only a few seconds left in this game. Though. Only 11 seconds. They've got to get the onside kick and they can't do it. So it was almost a crazy comeback, but Arkansas is going to come up short. 38-35, to 35, the final score here. A game that Texas A&M dominated for the most part. But again, Arkansas made a late run to, to make this game somewhat interesting. But at the end of the day, the Aggies take care of business. So they get their first win in the SEC. Next game is against Alabama. Obviously going to be a big, big test here for Texas A&M. Again, they have a really, really tough schedule. Uh, early on, you see the pick six by Kellamon. Not a good decision there. And Alabama with a 13-0 lead at this point in the second quarter. Tua going to the end zone for the touchdown. And Alabama, actually, they say that was incomplete. But then when they review it, they say he was in. And they are going to call this a touchdown. So that would make the game 20 to nothing. Uh, is Alabama off to a great start in this one? As you see, they reversed the call there. A&M trying to hang around. Kellamon uh, completes a pass here, gets the touchdown. They're only down two scores, so it's not over. Now 23-7, to though. Alabama punches it in. They would go up 30-7. to And then it's almost an exact replica of the play earlier. It's a pick six for Trevon Diggs. 
and Alabama at that point really just kind of puts this game away. 44 to 21, the final score. Uh, so A&M not able to come away with a victory in that game. As it's a pretty rough start to the season, but again, the schedule is very tough. Uh, three losses at this point, not that big of a deal uh, when you look at the schedule. It's not like the, the season's falling apart or anything like that. The next game's against Ole Miss. Rebels take a 7-0 lead here. Now 10-0. Ole Miss still with the football. And they take it in to make it 17 to nothing. So, yeah, Ole Miss uh, having themselves quite a game here. 17-7. They get a touchdown pass there. It's 24 to 7. Now Matt Corral looking for more. And there's an interception for Texas A&M as they try to climb back in this game. All the way back for the touchdown. 24 to 14 now the score. Third quarter. Ole Miss trying to... Keep this lead. Matt Corral going to run it, and somehow he gets by the defenders, and he's going to go all the way to the end zone. Touchdown Ole Miss. They have now increased their lead, and after another defensive stop, they would take it down and score again. Ole Miss running away with this one, 47-21. to So that one is definitely a surprise. Again, it's a video game. Doesn't mean I am going to make that prediction. Uh, but, yeah, that one surprised me, especially the way Ole Miss had done in some of the other simulations. But, uh, it just was their day today as they beat Ole Miss, beat Texas A&M 47 to 21, uh, and the Aggies now have four losses on the season. Next game is against Mississippi State, and we see another pick six. We've seen a lot of pick sixes in this video. This time it's Texas A&M getting the interception. Actually, no, that was Mississippi State. Sorry, the colors are the same, and uh, I got confused there. Anyways. That was Mississippi State with the pick six, but that was Texas A&M with the touchdown run. Now Kellen Mond looking for a big run, and he's going to outrun everyone. The 20, the 10, the 5, touchdown Texas A&M. As they look to, again, bounce back after that surprise loss to Ole Miss. 14 to 10, now the score. They're going to get a run around the left side. That's going to be a touchdown, and Texas A&M increases their lead. 24 to 13 now. Fourth down and two, big play in this game. Mississippi State goes for it, and they cannot pick up the first the touchdown. So they are down now. They do get this touchdown here to climb within five, and then they have to go for the onside kick, just 10 seconds to play. They don't get it, and so Texas A&M will survive. Uh, again, that was a huge, huge stop there on that fourth down and goal, or basically a fourth down and goal by the Texas A&M defense. 24 to 19, the score, at and... Again, it's, it's been a rough year so far here for Texas A&M, but we'll see if they can bounce back and finish the season strong. They've got four losses at this point. Uh, they will play South Carolina next. Actually, before South Carolina, they play UTSA, so we're going to assume a win there. But now you see this game against South Carolina, Texas A&M, with a big touchdown pass there to add to their lead, or to take the lead in this game, I should say, 10-7. to Bentley now looking to run one in, and they just leave them all alone. So South Carolina now in front. Back and forth we go. Third quarter, Kellamon over the middle, completes that pass, and he fights his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Texas A&M now back on top. Now we're tied at 17, uh, and A&M going to run one in with the fullback to go up by seven. South Carolina trying to answer back. Just over two minutes to play in the ball game. They get a big pass there, and there's no one going to catch him, or maybe they will, at the 10-yard line. First and goal now for the Gamecocks. They're going to run it in, and we are tied at 24. Just a, a great game here. In the fourth quarter now, Kellen Mond, under two minutes to play, completes that pass. Are they going to make the tackle? Yes. He's taken down at the 30-yard line, but they would use up a bunch of clock, take this thing all the way down inside the five, and this would set up this play for the touchdown and for the win. Texas A&M, 31-24, a big win here over South Carolina. Um, you know, a couple of wins there, Mississippi State and South Carolina, they really saved their season with those wins because if they lose one of those games, uh, it is – really going to be a disastrous season uh, and again this is a video game does not reflect our predictions you can catch our predictions for every single team here on the channel uh, this is really just for fun so the next game is against georgia a&m now bowl eligible they would be six and four at this point and you see georgia with a 10 nothing lead a&m looking to answer back here they would and it's now 10 to seven 
Georgia with the touchdown, and now they're back up by 10. A&M's turn here in the second quarter. They get the touchdown, and this game's kind of starting to go back and forth. 20-14 to 14 now, Georgia on top, but here comes Texas A&M. They get behind the defense for the touchdown, and we've got a 21-20 to 20 ball game. 23 to 21 now as Georgia would add a field goal. Third quarter, A&M taking the lead back. And this game, again, just going back and forth here uh, the entire first half. But there's a big play there. A&M was driving, looking to increase their lead. Actually, this was a two-point conversion, I should say. Uh, after that touchdown, they go for two and wind up fumbling. Georgia picks it up, and they run it all the way back for the two points. So 27 to 25 now the score. A uh, big momentum play there for Georgia. They would then go down and get the touchdown. And with that touchdown, they're going to take the lead. And they're now up 36 to 27. Fourth quarter, three minutes to play. A&M, bad decision. Kellamon throws the interception. And Georgia comes up with a huge turnover. And a chance to really kind of put this game away. Uh, and that's exactly what they do. They get a long drive, take it all the way down for the touchdown. And Georgia is going to... Win this game, 44-27. to It seems like that was a blowout, but again, A&M was right there in the third quarter. They had the lead in the third quarter, uh, but Georgia just finished really strong in this game, and they were able to come away with the win. Uh, so A&M now would be 6-5 and five on the season with one game left. That game will be against LSU. We showed you LSU. That was the last video we did, so if you watched that video, you've already seen the results from this game, but we'll show it to you if you didn't. Early on, tied at zero. First drive of the game, actually. Joe Burrow, a little juke there. He's going to run it into the end zone. And LSU up 7-0. And there is another pick six. We've seen a lot of those. And we've seen Mon throw. You know, he threw a couple of those against Alabama. Now one here against LSU. As that's the freshman, Derek Stingley, coming up with that pick six. 14-0 LSU on top. Uh, they are looking good at this point. Joe Burrow runs another one in for the touchdown, and it is 21-0. Third down and 11 here. Texas A&M just trying to stay in this game. That's going to get intercepted, and just nothing going right here for the Aggies. But they actually do get a quick three and out, get the ball back. And Mon this time delivers with a strike for the touchdown, and it's 21-7. And now we've got an interception on the other side. Texas A&M with the pick six, potentially. No, he's going to get stopped around the two-yard line. But they would then run it in here or attempt to on third down and goal. They're actually going to throw it in. And actually, they don't throw it in because it's incomplete. And they have to settle for the field goal. And that was a huge play in this game. Really changed the momentum. And now LSU... Would get a big play here as the score is 21 to 13 at this point. Just a one possession game, but that's going to make it a two possession game. And now 28 to 13, Mon trying to get Texas A&M back in this game. LSU comes up with a big sack there on third down, and then they just work some clock. Now the score is 31 to 13. A&M never really had another chance as the freshman John Emery Jr. runs that one in for the touchdown. And LSU going to pull away here. 38-13, to 13, the final score in this game. So Texas A&M will finish 6-6. Six and six. Not the kind of season that they wanted. But it's, again, a really difficult schedule. You know, I don't really see this team losing to Ole Miss. But upsets do happen. That game is on the road, so you never know. I think the rest of these losses you could definitely see happening. Uh, just because, again, of the, the tough schedule. Uh, now, they didn't really win any of those swing games, so you would expect them to at least win one or two of those. And I think the, the record probably will be better than 6-6. Six and six. But for this video, they're 6-6. Six and six. Auburn was also 6-6. Six and six. They had a really tough schedule. Uh, we'll see if that plays out in real life, if it's anything like that, or if these simulations are totally wrong. Thank you for watching this video. If you're an SEC football fan, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us your thoughts down in the comments below. And for the latest in SEC football, keep it right here.